The year is 635 in the post-Calamity. The Empire of Kor, where our story takes place, is ruled by King Zinjin Kerdor. And while rumors of rebellion have been floating around for several months, no blood has been shed and no steel has clashed yet. We begin our story in the modestly sized city of Shaville. It's a nice city, and while not particular big, it, particularly big, it has everything traveling adventurers need. A few amenities here and there, stores, taverns, and inns, and a sizable market, as well as a nice temple to the Twelve. The town is comprised mainly of farmers, hunters, and trappers, and because of that, at this time of year, it's full of hustle and bustle. It's early autumn, and many of the crops surrounding the city are becoming ready for harvest. So, we're going to pick up our story right in the middle of the action, because I'm bad at beginnings mostly, but... <clears throat> Mavlis, for you it's been an uneventful morning. You've visited the Silver, Silver Gull Market in search for some fresh produce and maybe information on the things you're searching for. Gilbrick, you've only recently arrived in the town and are slowly making your way towards the Temple of the Twelve. It's great face and golden domed roof visible even from the far end of the city. Adelchi, you're making your way to the Temple of the Twelve as well this morning, hoping to pray and chat up the clerics and priests here as you do in every city you visit. And Bosk, as you follow that familiar flash of colored scales through the crowds at the Silver Gull Market, you're puzzled as they begin to turn towards the Temple of the Twelve. As the five of you are going about your business, making your way to the those of you that are making your way to the temple see a pair of figures step to the doors. It takes you a few moments to get closer, being within a few hundred feet, when suddenly something stops you dead in your tracks, even if it is only for a heartbeat. A blood-curdling scream cuts through the air coming from the temple. It's loud enough that you in the market hear it as well and turn in that direction, hoping to see the source. What do you do? All right, so it will be Mavlis, then Gilbrick, then Adelchi, and then Bosk. I guess I would uh, start making my way towards the screen, but I would stay kind of on the outskirts of the um, crowd and, and kind of work my way towards Towards it? Are you moving at, like, a fast pace or a kind of sneaky? Like, how fast are you moving in that direction? You're probably about 200 feet away from where you heard the noise. You said it was a blood-curdling scream? Yeah. <laughs> I would move fast. All right, so full action dash to get there? Absolutely. All right. All right, Gilbrick, you're up. Uh, I turn to notice the scream, uh, and I also begin to walk towards it, not too fast, uh, as to get there, not to get there too quickly, but just at a sort of slightly faster than Cool. You are making your way towards the temple without any, trying not to draw too much attention. Adelchi, you are up next. You are probably the closest to the doors of the temple. I would quickly make my way to the door. Is the doorway open? The doorway is currently not open. You saw two figures step into it and the doors closed behind them, but there are two guards on the outside who are reaching for their swords and stepping for the door. Um, if, by the, if I was at a, like a, a run to the door, would, the do would they have opened the door by the time I got there? You would probably hit the door just as they're opening it. Then I would unsheath my sword and join the two. Great. Three of you are making your way in towards the door. And Bosk, you are the last last in this initiative order. Alright. Um being as great as I am at stealth, uh, I might just sneak in with the crowd and see what's happening. Alright, uh just go ahead and roll me a stealth check. All right. Let's see here. I'm pulling up Damn. your Seven. sheet. Yeah. So <laughs> you, so the total of 22, you pretty successfully blend into the crowd like a normal observer. Sweet. All right. So back at the top, um, Mavlis, are you still booking it towards the sound of the scream? 
Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll move through the crowd and, and kind of get as close as I possible. Cool. At this point, you're about 80 feet from the door, and it's the guards are starting to open it, but it's still, you're too far away, and they don't quite have the door open for you to see, but you're about 80 feet away from the doors of the temple. Um, Gilbrick, are you still moving in that direction? Yes, I am. Uh, I increased my pace as I notice a boss heading towards the door at a pretty, pretty substantial speed, so I increased my pace. All right, perfect. And your movement speed is 35 feet, correct? Uh, yes, that's correct. All right, Damn. cool. Oh, dwarf. At this point, you guys are just about neck and neck. You're hitting the door. You're moving. You're standing about next to each other as you're moving towards the sound. All right. Adelchi, as you and the guards reach to open the door... For a second, you see a dragonborn woman and a deep red tiefling man leaning over the body of what appears to be a priest. As you fling open the doors, they look up, and in a flash, they both step through a reddish door of energy and disappear. As this happens, a large, somewhat, what appears to be a seal on the floor next to the dead body opens, and three dark, shadowy figures begin to pull themselves out of it, hissing and snapping as they do so. The door is open, and both you and the guards have your weapons drawn and facing them. Um, I shout at them, try and give them a, an intimidating yell, and then make my way towards them in a combative stance. All right, you, using your movement, you can reach them if you would like to go ahead and make an attack. There are three figures. Um, one of them appears to be kind of the leader. All three move in shadows, as if the shadows in the temple have literally coalesced themselves onto these creatures. And the one who appears to be the leader is currently facing away from you, while the other two shadows are... and hissing and curling towards you. So... If you would like to make an attack, you are more than welcome to do so. Yeah, I'm attacking that boss boy. All right, go ahead and make an attack. So a 13 total? Yes, ma'am. That just hits. Hell yeah, brother. Go ahead and roll. Are you... I assume you're using your weapon? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I'm not hitting it with the shield. Great. <laughs> So 12 points of damage? Yes. As you across it with the sword, it... But doesn't seem to be taking quite as much damage as you had hoped with that kind of a hit. Do you want to do anything with your bonus action? Uh, I want to put up my shield. Great, your armor class is up by two then, I do believe. Yes. As you bring up your shield. Um, the two guards are also rushing in, and they see there's a pair of civilians who are ducking down into the pews, just kind of, like, hiding and cowering, and they're going to rush over to them in an attempt to protect them first. So. All right. Bosk, you are up. Um. I might just run up to, like, the uh, temple doors. I don't, want to get, I don't want to get too engaged. I just want to see what's up. All right. You kind of hit the edge of the door and peer in, and you see these dark, shadowy figures. And the person you are pursuing, nowhere in sight. Drats. However, you do see these three just eerie shadow figures that are pouring right, okay, so from this you. seal on the ground. Right. And us, I presume, right? Yes, and you. See, as Adelchi just shrimp across it with his great sword, and it hisses and continues to just crawl forward. Do you want to do anything? Uh, no, I'm good right now. All right. Um, I'm going to work these guys into the initiative order here. So, now we are at the top of the initiative order. One of the smaller shadowy figures kind of creeps towards you, and you feel as its 
claws just sink into you. Um, let's see. It's gonna try to attack you with a 23 to hit. Well, that hits. All right. So it does... You take six points of necrotic damage. Ooh, Jesus. As its claws just sink into your shoulders. Also, your strength score is reduced by one. So your strength is temporarily now 15. These shadowy tendrils just find their way into your armor and you feel it kind of sear across your skin. Um, Mavlis, it is now your turn. I'm, I'm assuming I can hear... Do I hear combat? Can I see... Inst- yes, you can hear kind of this low hissing and growling noise, and you can hear the shouts of the guards and of Adelchi as you're getting close to the doors. Am, am I able to see inside the doors, or am I just not quite close enough to see anything going on inside? You would probably have to use your 30 feet of movement to be able to see anything, but you if you use your movement to get there, you can see them. Yeah, uh, I'll use my movement to go ahead and get to where I can currently see. Perfect. And I, who am I seeing right now? So currently you see in the doorway, about 15 feet into the doorway, you see this bulky human paladin who just has this weird shadow figure, like, coalescing around him. Um, you also, you see another shadowy figure to his right, and behind him, I guess, to your view behind him, is this leader with his wings kind of tucked in behind him. And someone else is in the doorway, right? Uh, yeah, and Bosk, there's Dragonborn, is kind of poking his head in around the doorway, looking to see what he can see. I guess I would, I would. I'm. I'm gonna fire an arrow at the uh, at the dude that's from my view behind. It. All right, cool. Go ahead and make an attack. Fifteen. Fifteen hits. So go ahead and roll your damage. Uh, and this has been attacked already. Is that correct? Yes. Yep. It is not at a hit point maximum. So, total of 12. 12, nice. As you shink, and the arrow kind of... It goes through him, almost. It does damage, but it doesn't stick. And you hear it against the temple wall behind him. Not seeming to do quite as much damage as you had been hoping. But doing damage nonetheless. I'll just use my bonus action to uh, put Hunter's Mark on the one that I just shot. Awesome. He is Hunter's Mark, and you are concentrating on that. All right. Gilbrick, you are up. You're about 60 feet away from the doors at this point. Okay. I noticed the screaming and loud commotions coming from inside the uh, the temple. So I yep. quickly draw out my short sword and All right. continue to continue to run full uh, speed towards the doors now screaming into all Awesome. You get just inside the doorway kind of face to face and it kind of stops you up short. You're expecting some kind of true enemy, not these weird shadow figures. Um but you using your full action and movement, you're able to get right in there up next to them. So now it is the kind of leader Shadow's turn. He completely ignores all of you and just his legs move, but he seems as though he's hovering above the ground. And as he moves toward for the altar, he grabs one of the symbols of one of the gods, which Adelchi, you recognize as the symbol of Kershaw, the goddess of creation, and just snaps it in his hands. Bruh. And this low, kind of rumbling, resonating laugh comes out that seems to fill, that seems to come from everywhere and nowhere at the same time. And he just laughs. But that is his turn. And it is now your turn, Adelchi. Okay, then I just move straight back up to it and throw another swing into it. Awesome. The shadow is going to take an attack of opportunity on you as you leave its melee range. 
as he <laughs> reaches after you. You just manage to dodge out of the way and keep running. Go ahead and make your attack. Yikes. Ouch. Oof. He just, as you swing at the sword, he just kind of moves around it in this strange, shadowy way before reforming, and you f find no purchase. Well, then I guess I do what I did before and just throw my shield back up. All right. Bosk, it is now your turn. You're kind of peering into the doorway and you're seeing all of this happen. You see this symbol get snapped and you're seeing arrows and swords clash. All right. Um, when I'm looking through into the temple, do I see any pillars or columns on the inside of the temple? There are. Anything there are like four that? central pillars, kind of evenly spaced. Two to the left of the door as you're facing in and two to the right. All right. Um, I'll run b behind uh, the furthest column from me. All right, that's probably going to be, from your perspective, the one, the farthest one on the right of the two of them. Mm -hmm. And then just go ahead and make a stealth check for me as you're using your bonus action to hide behind there. All right, uh, 12. 12, all right. And what do you want to attack? What are you... What do you want to do with your action? Um, I think I'll just draw my dagger and wait, I guess. All right. You draw your dagger and just kind of duck there behind the pillar, hoping that it's enough to conceal your sizable but quite stealthy dragonborn figure. Yes. All right. It is, now, it is now the second shadowy figure's turn. He does not see you enter, Bosk, uh, but he does see Gilbrick come in, and he's going to take a swing with his claws at you. With a ten to hit. Don't think hits. So he just no. whoosh, passes wide. Can I ask wide. a quick question? Yeah. Are these considered undead or fiends? Um, make a religion check. So Plus. I have 21. I maxed out. <laughs> yeah. Nice, that's oh, funny. Um, as I flip here, um, yes, they're considered fiends. All right, um, there's another shadow. This one is the one that tried to take a swing at you, Adelchi, and it's going to follow you again. Make an attack of 10 once again. Just, it doesn't even get close to you. You just knock it away with your shield and it... Yeah. And starts coming at you again for another attack, but not next turn. So, Mavlis, you're up. Um, I'm gonna step inside so I can see completely. Um, All right. Help me, brother. And you, and you said there's one that keeps attacking Adele? Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and fire at that one. But I, I'm gonna keep in mind that He's probably behind it, so I'm going to try to angle myself so I don't hit him. Awesome. This one has not taken damage, um, so you do not get to add that additional 1d8, but you have... Yeah, I know. Ooh, 19. All Anyways, right. Hold on. Let me... Yes, uh, 19. 19 definitely hits. And 9 total. Nice. Once again, it doesn't seem to, the arrow doesn't seem to quite take hold as much as you had hoped, and it <laughs> threw him, but as it comes up the other side, it doesn't quite have enough energy to keep going, and it just kind of clinks off of Adelchi's armor. Okay. With no effect. Uh, Gilbrick, you are up. You are right there, up close, with one of the shadow figures. Uh, I take a swing at the shadow figure that is right in my an attempt to do some damage. All right, go ahead and make your attack. 22. That definitely hits. So go ahead and 1d6 plus 2 damage for your short sword. 7. Nice. Just, and you cut through it. It's kind of this weird, like, cutting through an actual shadow. But somehow you do find purchase through it. And it's kind of this weird sensation as you cut through it. Do you want to do anything with your bonus action? Um, 
I'll step back and hold up my sword in a, in a defense. All right. Are you stepping like out of its range? Uh, just back a couple, I guess, feet, like five. All right. If you're stepping back five feet, it is going to take a slash at you. Uh, all right. We'll go for that. Yeah. We'll just we'll go with five. You are going to step back. Yep. All right. It's going to try to make an attack. Uh, that's a 19 to hit. So you take 12 points. Ooh. And your strength score is decreased by one. Okay. As it just, as you duck out of the way, its claws manage to sink into the side of your arm and leaves these dark black kind of handprints that almost seem to shrivel away the muscle as you step back away from it. As the larger demon, as you step forward and just slash across its chest, this low laugh emanates from it, and it's going to turn around and slash at you, Delta. Um, it's going to slash with its claws for a natural 19, so 24 to hit. Yeah... You take 12 points of psychic damage. Oh, damn. As it just kind of claws across the side of your face. And rather than leaving physical marks, it just makes your head throb with this dark energy. Um, and it is going to turn around and start reaching for another one of the on the altar. Um, but it, does, it just turns and stays in your range. And it's just reaching for it with his bonus action. That's all he's gonna do. But it is now your turn, Delchi. Um... Does doing an intimidation check count as one of my actions or movements or anything? I will say, because you're a paladin of the twelve, I will say you can do it as a bonus action. Can I do my bonus action first? Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. Okay, I want to try and intimidate it before it breaks another one of the the statues. All right, how are you going to intimidate it? Um, by by yelling that like um, uh, like the, the uh, condemning it for its desecration of the the holy temple, like sort of like a power awesome. of the Christ Go compels ahead. you, we kind of thing. Awesome. <laughs> Go ahead, make an intimidation. 25. Hell yeah. Nice. Yeah, it... As you say this, it kind of shrinks back a, just a little, not... Pissed himself. It's slow reaching, kind of hesitates for a second, and he turns over his shoulder to look at you. I will say you have advantage on your next strike. Well, and that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> All right, and are you using a spell slot to do your divine smite? I am indeed, and that's an additional damage on top of, right? Yes, it is. Shit, yeah, you are about to rock the fuck out of this. So one. I get so with my greatsword, I get to do two d six plus three on top of that as well. Yep. So fifteen. Total of fifteen. That will hit. All right. So I'm gonna just rock the shit out of this thing. Hell yeah. Eight point. Uh, yep. Plus so one d eight. No, I, I get three d eight because it's an extra one d eight against undead or fiends. Oh, yes, you are correct. Yeah, so go ahead and roll your 3d8 radiant damage. Yeah, you're about to wreck its world. (laughs) Yeah, so that. Poof, man. Jesus. Yeah. It's as you grasp your holy symbol around your neck, this kind of bright light emanates from your sword as you slash across its chest and it shrieks in agony and you watch as some of the shadows literally just disperse and don't reform around him. Yeah, you just wrecked his world. <laughs> All the gods! <laughs> Fucking yeeted that bitch. Damn right. Yeah. <laughs> this is what happens when you've got yeah, the gods on your side, brother. So is it still alive? It is still alive, but it is hurting pretty good. Like, visibly damaged? Visibly damaged, for sure. Um, the two guards 
are going to just take the civilians and usher them outside, trying to keep them out of harm's way of these shadow figures. Bosk, you are up. Alright, um... As far as the enemies go, what can I see? You can see these... I mean, you can see pretty much everyone, and you can see that Adelchi put a pretty good hurting on the big one. Um, otherwise, right. the two shadows are just kind of moving and coalescing and trying to fight against the dwarf that has walked into the, <clears throat> into the room. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> um, as part of compulsion, uh, I need to take note of the valuables in this place. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Wait, what so, did you uh, just say? Me... <laughs> uh, out of sheer compulsion, he is noting the value. Oh, I thought you said... Oh, dude, I was like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> Go ahead and make a perception check. Alright, um... So that's... Uh, perception. One day, one day 21. Alright, uh... There's 20 plus 1, right? No, plus, uh, uh yeah. 4. Oh, oh yeah. It's whatever your perception is bonus is. Yep, yeah, it's a plus 4. So a total of 15 there? No, 11. Uh, he added the plus 4 to it. Oh, I see it. All right. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot. Being a smaller town, this temple isn't super, like, furbished, I guess. It's nice, but really, the only things that you notice are just beside the door, there seems to be a donation box. So you don't know how much coinage is in it. And the only other thing that really catches your attention is the symbol wall, all of which seem to be made out of nice stone and etched with golden gems befitting each of the gods. Right, okay. Um, not really prepared to do a religious crime, so uh, <laughs> do I still have room for an attack? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, cool. Um, how far away is the bigger creature? The bigger creature is probably 35 feet away from you, I'd say. Okay. Um, I kind of like run at this, oh, like 25 feet towards it. All right. Um, and I would like to use my breath weapon against it. All right. Cone of fire. Um, to do that, you're probably going to hit a Delchi. Right. Um, you will hit. <laughs> Uh, should one of the shadow figures, the bad guy, and a Delchi to put to do that code? No. Okay. Um. Actually, I was pretty close to the one that was attacking Gilbrek, Correct. Yeah, you're about twenty feet away from that one. Okay. Um. Might go there instead and stab it in the back as it's facing Gilbrek with my dagger. All right. Yeah, and it does not see you. So Sneak attack damage on it as well. That's right. So what's that? Uh, um... So roll to hit. So roll your d20 plus... I'm looking up here. Plus five. Twenty-four will definitely hit. <laughs> nice. Ten points of damage. Cool. Uh, is that it for my turn? Um, yes. If you'd like, you can duck behind the pillar again as a action. If you want to duck by the closest one to the door. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. All right, go ahead and roll sneak or uh, stealth check. See, so, yeah, it's uh twenty, right? Nice. All right. Following that, it is <laughs> the shadow that is in combat with you, Adelchi, not the big, big one, um, but the regular shadow figure that's going to take a claw attack at you for a 17, which does not hit because your armor class is really high. Once again, you just bring up your shield, and it kind of shies away from you after bright flash of energy that wrecked its leader and it doesn't even quite try to hit you as hard as it could. Just king off your shield. The gods channel through me. 
(laughs) (laughs) The other shadow, after being stabbed in the back, is going to turn around but does not see you because it rolled shitty perception. So, Gilbrick, it's going to take five feet closer to you and take another swing at you with claws. Oh, go ahead. For only nine to hit, which I don't think hits. <laughs> you just dodge out of the way of it before as you... You got hit with it once and as it drained your life force. You're like, I don't want to get hit with it again. And you just dodge out of the way of it. Adrenaline. It's saving you right now. <laughs> Mavlis, you're up. Um, seeing that, uh, that big one is trying to attack or got attacked by uh, Adelchi and is still trying to break shit uh, and got hurt pretty bad. I'm going to fire on him again. All right, go ahead and roll. And he is Hunter's, you have Hunter's Mark. Mark. So, yeah. yep. Jesus. <laughs> Ten unfortunately does not hit. It no, just it doesn't. You were aiming for the part of him that used to be there. Before. Radiant strike, and this time it just hits nothing and flies past him, shattering against the altar. You have your movement and your bonus action if you want to use it. I will um try to move. I don't I don't want to be in the path of any of the enemies of uh, the other enemies. So I'll, I'll move myself just a little bit more toward one of the walls. Uh, Gilbrick, you are up next. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm going to uh, holster my shorts uh, and pull out my bagpipes in an attempt to disorientate the... Uh, the... What? <laughs> <laughs> This is my fucking backup. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. I'll, say this is, I'll say you do this as your action. Go ahead and make a performance check. Uh, wait, what did you say? Perf- a performance, performance. check. <laughs> That's going to be minus one. Oh my god. <laughs> I remember to roll on <laughs> Yeah. Rest in peace, everyone. <laughs> oh my god. Thanks for hey. literally nothing. <laughs> As you pull your bagpipes out of your bag and you. It's a horrible noise. It's not. I mean, it could definitely be worse. And you've probably heard the bagpipes played worse before. The creature, however, doesn't seem to be phased and just keeps. <laughs> no, it's you. It was a good, I'm more good confused, if anything. <laughs> you do have a bonus oh, action and your movement if you want to use it. You guys fucking suck. <laughs> sorry, what, what, did, what did you say? I was lost. You have your bonus action and movement if you want to use either one of those. Um, so, in, so my, I can do an attack as my bonus. Yes, you can. You can do Flurry of Blows, which gives you two unarmed strikes. Uh, I'll do that. So that's a, right. what's it? 1d20 plus 4. Plus 4, yep. That's right, I forgot oh. Gilbert's a monk. Why did you pull the sword <laughs> out? Dude, like... <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> As you realize that the backpack's not working, you're like, well, shit, and you just whack, whack, and punch it. Go ahead and roll your attacks. So a no. nine in the first one misses, unfortunately. Oh my god. Just yeah. can't quite find purchase on its weird shadowy form. Oh, do I, do I roll it again, the same thing? Yep, go ahead and make a second attack. With Flurry of Blows, you get two attacks. I was trying to imagine a uh, dwarf being a martial arts master. <laughs> there we go. Pulling bags and dropping them. <laughs> so go ahead and roll 1d4 plus 2 damage against it. 4 points of damage. Not too bad. As the first strike just goes wide, you can't quite find purchase. You 
shake your fist, and you hit it again, and this time you find purchase. But I don't think I'd be touching those things with my hand. <laughs> Me back by playing it. <laughs> you punched a shadow. <laughs> don't give All him right, that. He dropped his old? bagpipes. <laughs> <laughs> he did, yeah. If you, as your backpipes drop on the floor, they kind of make this sad noise. This air kind sad of starts weed. to <laughs> Duck, I like a dying duck. <laughs> Jesus, is it my turn? Yes, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> or, it is the, 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 <laughs> it's the big shadow demon's turn. Of course it is. And as you feel this blinding energy, it gets this kind of wild look in its dark eyes, and it's just gonna make an attack at you, Adelchi, as it's kind of panicking, not realizing <laughs> that the power is gonna be right there in its face. Copy. Nine oh, to hit. Nine. It's hit. What? A nine. nine. So it doesn't hit. Just no. bring up your shield and it kind of back as it sees the holy symbol, a little bit afraid that you're going to cast it, cast the spell again. Um, But Very it good. is now your turn, Adelchi. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to swing on this. Okay, I'm going to swing on this uh, um, thingy my bob again. The big All right, one. the big one. All right. Thirteen. Thirteen just hits. Hell yeah, brother. And are you just doing this a regular attack? Yeah. All right, cool. <sighs> nice. <laughs> nice. So, four points of damage then? And actually, uh, that... yeah. That should have been, uh, so, f yeah. Yep. No. Yeah, because it's plus two. Well, technically plus three, but because my strength is down where it's plus two, so oh, it's four. Right. Yep. yep. This time, after bringing up your shield, you just shoot, and it doesn't, you don't get as much force behind it as you wanted to, but it makes impact. So now you can move, and you have your bonus action. All right, so I move back to, who'd you say was closest? Gilbert? Mavlis is closest to you. Mavlis. Okay, I'm going to move him back to Mavlis, and then as my second action, I am going to use... It. I'm going to use uh, Vigilant Guardian Ward and make him my ward. All right. As you step back, the Shadow Demon and the other Shadow that have been kind of coming at you are both going to take swings. Bruh. Attacks of Opportunity. Natural 20 from the Shadow Demon. And a 13 from the other guy. So the 13 doesn't hit. The 13 does not hit, but the first one is a crit for... 19 points of psychic damage. Oh. As once again, you feel the... Ringing in your head. Oh, I don't feel anything. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, you're unconscious. It's okay. We oh, got this. All right. We got this. As you try to step away from it, it gets this dark power, and it reaches out and just, <laughs> and you feel darkness just creep into the corners of your vision as you collapse onto the ground. And that's before I did my vigilant ward thing, right? Yes, it is. All right, Bosk, you are up. All right. Um, since uh, Gilbert clearly needs help, <laughs> I'm going to try and finish off this dude so we can go right. help. All right, I'm officially in this fight now. All right. <laughs> oh, man. As you try to rush forward with it, you just... <laughs> and you can't find where the shadow is. And because shit. it was natural one. Long. Oh shit. That, see, this sometimes things are alright. Alright, go ahead and roll me a D one hundred. What the Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> critical death. Hell yeah. Crit oh, alright, let's see here. Jesus. 
Hold on, I gotta find where in my binder thing is. I feel like a dog in a burning building just going, this is fine. This is fine. <laughs> As you draw your short sword and go to swing, instead of making contact, you make contact with something. You're not quite sure what it is, but as you swing down, you realize it's the ground. And as you bring your sword up, the tip of it is just shattered. And your oh, sword sick. is broken. Yikes, so that oh, means it's done, I right? got two of them. <laughs> so I got two. But that short sword is officially out of commission. Yikes. Alright, um... Alright. I guess I'll use my other one. <laughs> you have your Won't you need to do an action to do that? What? Will he need an action to take out his other one? I will say it'll just be a bonus action to draw a new weapon, especially if you're able to card one onto the floor. He can draw his new one as a bonus action. Uh, I also officially removed my broken one from my inventory. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Alright, so yeah I, yeah, I guess I just draw my short sword and stand ready for an attack. Alright, you also have about 20 feet of movement left if you wanted to use it. Oh, okay. I guess I'll just the step shadow just... Would, it would take yeah. an attack of opportunity on you if you moved out of its range. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll just stay where I am then. Alright. Um, next up is the shadow figure that was messing with Adelchi, but seeing that he is unconscious on the ground, <laughs> it's going to also creep forward towards the altar and reach for symbols and try to snap it. Great. And a natural 20 on its strength, it takes down one of the symbols and just cracks it in its hands. Uh, how many have we got left? <laughs> Ten. Um, Ten. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep, there's ten symbols left. And those of you who watched this happen, you realize that he, that both of the symbols that have been cracked are symbols of the four gods whose belief has recently been disputed. Heresy. <laughs> You're dead, shut up. <laughs> yeah, shut up. Oh, dead boy. The other shadow that's up on you, Gilbrick, is going to take a swing at you with his claws. Shit. For a 17 to hit. Oh god, I'm about to be. Seven points of necrotic damage, and your strength is knocked down by one. one. Oh shit. <laughs> Once again, it's, just, you like, feel die. your muscles just kind of shrinking each time that it attacks you, and it's this weird feeling that makes you exhausted and furious at the same time. Um, that is the end of their turn. Madlis, are up. Uh, am I right next to Adelchi, where he fell? He's about 15 feet away from you, as he tried to make a run and just got taken out. <laughs> All right, I'm going to move that 15 feet. All right. Toward him. Uh, I am going to... Oh, I don't need anything for this. All right. I'm going to uh, mumble under my breath and touch him and cure wounds. All right. Let's go ahead and roll 1d8 plus your wisdom modifier, I believe, as a ranger, correct? That is correct. All right. So 1d8 plus your wisdom modifier. All right. There you go, Adelchi. So what's you, my life at? You are at ten hit points now. Yep. As you come to consciousness, all of a sudden the darkness just fading from your eyes as you come gasping to consciousness on the ground, prone but alive. The gods have can saved I, me. Can I try to help him up with a bonus action? Because I'm pretty sure that's an action. No, that spell is a bonus action, isn't it? I think Cure Wounds is an action. Yep, one action. Correct. Yep, one action. Um, um, I would say you can use your bonus action the rest of your movement to try and help haul him to his feet. Yeah, How big are I'm you, gonna... though? I'm six foot one. What do you weigh? What, what, 195 pounds? Does that matter? No, go I can lift. Strength check, just to see. The DC won't be super high, but go ahead and make a strength check. Yeah. Strength? Oh, sh- <laughs> Nope. 
<laughs> you, you like wrap your arms under his and you try to pull him to his feet between his armor and his just dead weight. You can't quite get him to his feet. Get up, you big fuck. Well, that's, the only reason I ask is because with everything I'm wearing and in my thing, plus my guy's weight, I'm almost 400 pounds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, for the five. No way. Like, I weigh 240 and have 140 in my backpack. Yeah, yeah. no, no way. <laughs> All right, Gilbrick, you are up. Hmm. Um, my bagpipes, please. <laughs> I'm not getting the bagpipes out. It's fun. Uh. Oh, uh, so that that other shadow monster is still like directly in front of. Me. Yeah, he's still right in front of you, and he just sunk his claws into you again. I'll run behind one of those pillars, the nearest pillar. All right. To, uh... Yeah, you can make it there. He is gonna swing at you though. He's gonna I'll try to hit you. Do you run away from it? <laughs> With a 13, I think that misses. He just, you are not one to hit by that again, and you just dodge out of the way and duck behind the nearest hill. <laughs> your, your cowardice is saving you, brother. <laughs> fuck, fuck off. <laughs> um, I don't know, what can I, where was um, Bosk? How close was Bosk to me? Bosk was on the other side of the shadow figure, kind of standing behind it. And you watch as he hits the sword on the ground and it just shatters and he goes, oh shit, and pulls out the other short sword. <laughs> okay, because I wanted to pick up his sword because I have smith's tools, so I could try and... But uh, for now, I'll just stay hiding behind the, pi uh, the pillar. Alright, you can absolutely do that. <laughs> All right, the big shadow demon, seeing Adelchi on the ground and realizing that he might be out of commission for a second, he is turning towards the altar and reaching for another one of the symbols. I bet. He just takes it and crumbles it in his hands. And just this low laughter starts to fill the temple again as he takes the third symbol and just cracks it in his hands. Um, that is his action. Adelchi, you are up. Okay, I have a question. You're, being, you're kind of being held right now by Mavlis, and you're like, what the hell is happening? <laughs> okay, so I turned to go back to Mavlis. I got taken out mm -hmm. before I got there. Mavlis came to me, which means we're right in front of this thing, right? Yes, you are. You're about you're five feet away from it. They stepped to reach towards the altar. Okay, I'm gonna... I guess I have to get up. Yep, so you can use... 15 feet, half your movement to stand up. Okay, so I'll do that, and then not move. Um, okay. Then I'm going to slam this bitch with another <laughs> divine smite, because he's pissing me off. But first I'm going to do another intimidation. Alright, go ahead and make an intimidation check. Nice. As you kind of use your greatsword as a staff, and you stand up, and you just yell. It whips its head towards you, and if it had physical eyes, you would see them, like, just big as saucers, as he was pretty <laughs> sure he had killed you. And now you are standing up and drawing your sword with the strength of the gods behind it. You have advantage on your next attack. Well, that next attack is going to slam that bitch with a divine smite. So a 15 will hit him. Oh boy, buckle up, motherfucker. <laughs> Bruh, what? Man. Bruh. And then your 2d8 radiant damage. 3d8. 3d8, because he's a fiend, you are correct. Dude, what the <laughs> Bro. <laughs> he is hanging on by a thread, but he is still hanging on. You can see this the shadowy kind of tendrils are struggling to keep his form held together. In that slice, you cleave off one of the wings, and it just kind of <laughs> onto the ground. Ah, nice. a horrible, unearthly shriek, and it is hanging on by a thread. Okay. Now, um, I'm going right. to do the uh, vigilant 
ward to Nautilus. All right. Look up real quick what that does here. Uh, <laughs> it, it gives it, it, it allows me to use their insight and perception in, in checks. Oh. And, and it also allows me to, if I'm um, within five feet of them and they get attacked, I can put my shield and add my shield to their defense. Or I can just straight up swip, switch spots with them and take the attack instead. Oh, that's awesome. All right. Cool. So that. I'll take that. Boss, it is your turn. There is a shadow figure right in front of you, and now that Gilbrick has kind of jumped out of its range, it's slowly turning around to face you. All right. Um, I think it's probably a good time to use my breath, my fire breath. Your what? Go for it. All right. Um, okay, so... It will make its deck save, which yeah. is... Uh, let's see. Which is going to be a 17, so he takes half damage, but he takes damage. Uh, that wasn't that good. <laughs> As you just lean back and breathe fire at him, the shadowy figure takes the damage, but not quite as much as you were hoping it would. It doesn't light on fire, it just kind of... Sc- it scars the floor of the temple more than it really hurts the figure. Right, okay. Desecrating um, my but temple. But it does take damage and <laughs> shies away from you. Please don't smite me, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't call him daddy again. <laughs> <laughs> L- Logan, Logan, there's a line if you, and you There ain't no line. I'll take Senpai. <clears throat> yes. Alright, the shadow that has been breaking symbols is going to turn around and seeing Adelchi there, that he just kind of rose from the dead, um, he is going to have disadvantage on his attack with your intimidation roll from last round, but he is going to make a swing at you. Mm. And a natural one on the first roll. Yes, so, like it. flip to my critical fail table here. Roll 100. Oh, if it kills itself, that would be amazing. <laughs> Eight melee attack. As it reaches out to claw you, you actually bring up your shield, and its claw slashes into the shadow demon inside it. Yes. <laughs> yep, Wait, and the big that'll fuck do off it. Nearly dead one. <laughs> That's right. As it, its claws just sink into its ally, and you. Shadow figure look absolutely shocked and horrified <laughs> and that its friend just hit it before it crumples to the ground, unmoving. The gods that are on my side. That worked out well in your favor. <laughs> <laughs> he had two hit points left, and his friend just oh, killed it. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Alright, well... It is upset and horrified that it just did that, but it can't really do much else. And that was the big one that got dusted, right? Yep. Oh, nice. <laughs> Actually, it's going to try to flee from you. It's going to use its movement to run, so you can take an attack of opportunity on it if you like. You're goddamn you. right. I'm right next to him. Do I get one, too? Yes, you would. Yes. goes to run past both of you, just panicking that it just killed its leader. 21. 21 will definitely hit. And mine's, I think, a 19? Yes. That will also hit. Let's go ahead and roll your damage. Total of 14 for me. 21 total. Alright. That does it. As Between the two of you, you just cleave it in two, and it just kind of (laughs) Rather than becoming a body on the floor, it just kind of melts into this weird, like, puddle, almost, of shadow that is unmoving and very dead on the ground. As a non-action, can we fist bump? Yeah, sure! (laughs) Yep, I'll I'll, I'll fist, I'll reciprocate on that. Nice. Alright. Well, in that case, there's one shadow left. Um, It's gonna turn and take a swipe at you, Bosk. 
as you're the last thing that it it's closest to you, so it's going to take a swing yep. at you. For a 22 to hit, 11 points of necrotic damage, and Ow. your strength is drained by one point. Okay. Don't need, don't need strength anyway. <laughs> Didn't need that. <laughs> that one point. He can have it. All right, that is the end of his turn. Madless, you are up. There's currently only one shadowy figure, and it is harrowing over this dragonborn figure standing about 25 feet away from you guys now. The With six foot eight dragon, dragonborn figure. <laughs> With my bonus action, I would like to move my now dead hunter's mark over to him. Awesome. And uh, I'm firing. All right, go ahead and make your shot. Natural 20. All right, go ahead and roll your critical damage. Yeah. So all of the dice are doubled. So your arrow dice, that additional 1d8 from your Colossus player, and your Hunter's Mark. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of 26, 27, 28, plus 4, 4. You completely wreck it. How do you want to do this? Um, yeah, just headshot, direct headshot. It kind of pretty much as it. you draw back your bow and fire. It kind of goes through what you imagine to be the throat of this shadowy figure, and before it has a chance to do anything, it almost the force of the arrow almost explodes the figure, and it looks ah. like a a disco ball, like when. A flashlight hits a disco ball, <laughs> but it's a shadow that just scatters across the room and fades in the floor. I'm just going to put my fist up for a Delchi. You're goddamn right, brother. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys are officially out of combat. Everything is dead. 